Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, here's going to be your step-by-step -step process to find Noah. Ready? So here's going to be the step-by-step -step process, all right, to find the inverse of a function. Ready, Sean? Oh, yeah, you're doing it. So to find the step-by-step -step function of it, um, the inverse of a function, one thing we want to kind of go by, back to is using a function in terms of x and y, all right? We like to use x and y, all right, because that's going to help simplify the process. You guys hopefully remember when we were dealing with graphing functions compared to linear equations, really the y and the f of x are kind of the same thing. They're both your output value, right? So you're graphing them, you kind of be the same, but you just need to understand that they're both your output value. So first one, step number one. Um, so what you're going to do is replace f of x with your y, or whatever your function name is, replace it with y, okay? Step number two, solve, I'm sorry, step number two is swap y and x, all right? And we're going to talk a little bit why we're going to swap y and x here in a second. So the next thing, so that's step number one. Step number two, swap x and y. Kind of make a little, I know it doesn't make why we're doing this, but I just, here's the step-by-step -step process. I'll explain the why in a second. Step number three is going to be solve for y. So, y equals x minus 2. Okay? Does everybody kind of see that? Okay? Then, for, go back to function notation. Replace um, y with f inverse of x. So that was uh, step number three. Then step number four, we have f inverse of x equals x minus 2. That's finding the inverse. So inverse notation is f with an exponent of negative 1 of x equals x minus 2. OK? So that's pretty much your step-by-step -step process you're going to do. We're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show this with you for different functions. OK? But before, I want to I kind of explain for you guys so you can understand why we're doing this, which I'll make in another video for you guys right now. Because I think algebraically, you guys are probably going to be OK with this stuff.